Hello and welcome to What Are You Saying? Hashtag Ways, where we talk about topics in the news as it affects us all. I am Osayuwame Sale, and today we have Sandra Eze. I've missed her so much. And Olamide Onifade. <laughs> Sandra, we've missed you, so let's welcome talk. back. Hello, hello. Thank you, Lamide. I um, are looking really hot tonight. Thank you. you know, this syndrome of like, it's not a syndrome, my goodness, Sandra. It's like, like when you've been away for a while, it's like, I need to come back looking hot. Yeah, yeah so that, was, that was kind of With the mindset. With a banging body. <laughs> banging, I added weights. What? No. Banging body fire. No. no but, it um, suits you, right? Anyway. Thank you, darling. I missed you guys. Um, uh, I went away to do the Lord's job. I'm not going to say what before some people will come and carry me. <laughs> you know, but um, it, it, everything went well. And I'm just so, so happy um, to be back, yeah. you know. So, we and I you. missed the show. I would Aww. follow up on YouTube. So, um, we've missed, we missed you. <laughs> we've missed you. So, for yeah. me, uh, first of all, before I forget, today's my mom's birthday. Oh, so happy, happy birthday, birthday, birthday mom. Mama. Mama. And on Tuesday was my dad's birthday. Really? So happy birthday, daddy. And I think tomorrow is their wedding anniversary. <laughs> <laughs> I know, I so much for June. <laughs> it's a June affair. It's a June affair. So, um, but you know, um, San Sandra was saying that she saw justice for who are training. I mean, I've never. Oh, yeah. I've not heard my name mentioned Friend, like, one that. million times, like, you know, but I'm happy. That's for the that, right cause. That for the first time, everybody's talking. Yeah. This is not the time for anybody to keep quiet. This is not the time for Absolutely. anybody to, to remain silent. You know, I was happy when I saw Bola Ahmed in the put up a post, you know. I want Oh, yeah, more. that was the first. That I'm was like, oh, the my first. Goodness, you know, really? I said, wow, okay, it Impressive. means that people are actually into the waking right quarters. up yes because when we start to get prominent people that are speak doing up. this kind of things that speak up and they hold the the say no to rape message it sends the message home to everyone and talking mm -hmm. about what I, I mean what i just said here's what we found as today's quote the power of the harasser the abuser the rapist depend above all on the silence oh, of women. women i think that is absolutely it's true so apt. the culture of silence silence yeah. let's keep quiet no 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 people will not know let's not say anything no it's a family matter you know mm -hmm. i cannot tell you guys the countless you know because i volunteer with um the real woman foundation for years my friends and i we used to go to secondary schools from school to school, school to school. Chastising kids. It's called, the project is called For Girls Only. It was mm -hmm. initiated by Pastor Nika at Adiemi. So I just loved the idea. Then I was looking for something to do, and that resonated with me. So I joined the team. We'll go from school to school. So when we're done talking about sexual abuse, we'll talk about relationship, we'll talk about career, we'll talk about different things. Mm -hmm. So at the end of the presentation, we give them small papers to just write down questions and all of that. Most of them are usually shy. I cannot tell you the countless number oh of questions that, that had to do with rape. sexual abuse, that had to do with rape, that had to do with, you know, girls and saying that my father... Can you and you know, those are the ones thing. that we even decided to take up. You know, by the time you are, you get to the... Their family the members family don't, don't want it. Don't want that. That's the yeah. biggest issue. They cover up the culture of silence, the stigma. It's annoying. It's, you see the family members pleading for the offender. Yeah. Well, Do you, you know, know what? Okay. Sorry, Sanze. No, okay. I've seen, um, there was this case in Portaco that happened. It was a clear case of rape between a 13-year-old girl and a pastor. The police got involved. The man came to plead with the family. And guess what, what they were asking for? 200,000 a settlement. Oh my Do you goodness. settle a rape case? A rape case is criminal. It's not between the parents of the victim. No. And so if the it's parents no, are even asking a for set case. settlement, I think this should be arrested. Yes. Because they don't, don't understand. People don't understand that They're criminal part. That was shocking. Yeah. It's a crime. It's between the offender and the state. It's not between you and the victim. The but victim quite, is just a witness in that case. Yeah, but quite frankly, and the police were the arbiter. They were the one that uh, the negotiator. The police. Can you imagine, Sansi? You want to say something? Yeah, I was going to say that. I mean, looking at it from the family angle is is different. Is that that's one case? But then there is also this issue of you know young ladies in relationships where the family is not even involved and you're dating a guy and, the guy and then he thinks you. he has an absolute because mm -hmm. i remember I remember last year during elections you remember one i almost got involved in and i didn't really talk about it because i mean thank god he saved me at the last minute but i didn't really talk about it because i knew people were going to just keep going like 
has where to do, gate. Where do you where find do you go, go man find house? Gate? Why you mm. go man house? That's you so know, and this was the person I went to his house. Like, oh my goodness, my friend, we we haven't it's seen just... in a while. So do you understand? So it it happens to. It's not even about kids. It's mm. even full grown no, adults. No, 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 yeah. So I think okay. today we we have a lot to say because we're undressing rape. And we have some amazing survivors and a child advocate to talk to us. But first, let's take a quick break for what's in the news.